Dear brothers and sisters, every Sunday when you come to church, you hear the message of Jesus Christ, the life-saving and changing message, the good news for your life that is found only in one person, and his name is Jesus Christ, the Son of God. And in this reading, we see the Lord entering the synagogue on the Sabbath, the day dedicated to study, to praise, to prayer, and mainly to rest in the word and promises of God. And on this day, that's exactly what you and I are doing in this place. We are studying His word, we are worshiping His name, we are listening to His promises, and mainly, we are resting our spirit in His worth. And in this reading, Jesus Christ encounters an evil spirit. This reading shows us that you and I are exposed every day to two types of forces. The force of darkness and the force of of the kingdom of heaven. The force of Satan is always seeking to distance you from your Creator. And the force of Almighty God, Creator of heaven and earth, is always seeking and calling you through the preaching of His Word. And in this reading, we can see that Jesus Christ confronts this evil spirit and subdue it. subdue it. What is this teaching us? Well, this is teaching us that when Jesus Christ speaks, he has the power to subdue and cast out evil spirits from the lives of those who come to church, like you and me. This is very important, dear brothers. Do you just hear the reading? And do you remember where was this man? He was in the synagogue. He was in the church. Can you believe that? He was in the synagogue, in the church. He was among other people. But Jesus Christ, again, is omniscient. He knows everything. And he knows each one of us here as well. He knows what you need. And he knows what makes you suffer. This reading also teaches us that God has the power and intention to confront and defeat the forces of evil in your life. This is important because Jesus Christ came into the church and immediately confront and defeat those forces of evil in the life of this person. And that happens here as well. Every single time that you come to church, you have the opportunity to receive God's blessing in your life. Because when the Word of God comes into your life and enters your ear, when you hear the readings, it informs, but also transforms you. When the Word of God comes and gets into your ear, the Word of God has the power to make you a new creation. That is why it's very important to have the opportunity to hear the Word of God in the Bible readings. When the Word of God comes into your life again and enters your ear, it transports you from darkness to His beautiful light. That is the reason you come to church. That is the reason that we all come to church, 
because he's always and constantly working with you. And that, that is exactly what happened with the man who was suffering and living with that evil spirit in, the, in today's reading. Jesus Christ came to this earth to fight your battle. He came to destroy and drive away the spirits of darkness from your life in the same way that he did to these men. He is the only one who can drive away any kind of evil in your life. Nobody else, no one else can do that. Neither the fortune teller nor the spiritualists nor the cleansers, nor the uh, transcendental meditation, nor any type of amulet, nothing of what just, I just mentioned can give you hope or free you from any evil. The only one who wants to give you hope and delivers you from all evil he is the one who was able to give his own life for you. And you know his name. You know who is he, Jesus Christ. The same one who gave his life for you is the one who faces with authority, subdues and expels the evil spirits from that man in the church or in the synagogue. Dear brothers and sisters, the Lord Jesus Christ continues to this day to subdue evil spirits. Do you believe that? He continues to do this type of work in the lives of his people. He continues to defend you from those attacks. And attention here. It's very important what you are gonna, about to hear. The main emphasis here in this reading, is that Jesus Christ frees the man from the evil spirit. Of course, Christ casts out the demon and subdues it. But that is not the center of the message. Let me say it again. The main focus is that the man who was in the church was liberated. That is the main focus, because Jesus Christ came and liberated these men. Can you see it? That was the main purpose, liberate these men. And that is what Christ continues to do until today. He liberates you and continues to restore. That is the work of this church, New Song. That is the work of every single church who proclaims Jesus Christ crucified to free people from spiritual of unbelief. Or, or let me say it different, to free people from spirits of unbelief. The work of the church is also to free people from deceiving spirits. The work of the church, the work of New Song, is to free you from things that you don't even know that you have. Because when you come to church, Jesus Christ works with things that you don't even know that you have. That is why it is important that you, who have been liberated and believe in Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, invite others to also be liberated. That is the reason that we come to church. So we can also invite others so they also can be liberated. And again, it's important in the reading to recognize that the people in Capernaum recognized that the man was possessed by a demon. This was a reality in Jesus Christ's time. And this is a reality today. Let's look into the reading again. Verse 23, just then there was a man in their synagogue with an unclean spirit, 
And he cried out, saying, What business do you have with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. And Jesus rebuked him, saying, Be quiet. Now, do you remember in the reading, by the end of the reading, people were amazed. Do you remember why people were amazed? Because Jesus Christ was talking with authority. Why the Bible says that he was talking with authority? Why? Because when Jesus Christ speaks or talks to this evil spirit, do you hear what he says? He says, be quiet. But in English, we don't really, you know, see what Jesus Christ is saying or doing. What is the name of this thing that you put into the dogs so they stop barking? Muscle. Muscle. Jesus Christ, in the original Greek, basically what Jesus did is putting a muscle into this evil spirit. It's why the people said, what type of authority is this? Because Jesus Christ, when he says, be quiet, Basically, what Jesus Christ did is treating this evil spirit like a dog, like nothing, like a dog, like be quiet, like stop talking with powerful, with only authority that God himself can have. Again, Jesus said, be quiet and come out of him. After throwing him into convulsions and crying out, with a loud voice, the unclean spirit came out of him, and they were all amazed. So they debated among themselves, saying, what is this? So now you know why. <laughs> what is this? A new teaching with authority? He commands even the unclean spirits, and they obey him. You want to hear one more thing? This is the first time that people see Jesus Christ expelling demons. And this is important because in the Old Testament, you don't really see that. But when Jesus Christ came, he also had the authority and the power to expulse demons. What is that telling us? What is the message that Jesus is sending to them and to us today? Well, only God can subdue spirits. And if Jesus Christ subdue the spirits, then Jesus Christ is God. Jesus Christ is God. Attention here. If you follow the reading, you remember Christ did not touch the men. He restored without physical contact. He didn't even touch him. Only with the power of his word. And this is very important, dear brothers and sisters. This man, with the impure spirit, was inside the synagogue. Again, he was inside of the church, like today. Surely, no one noticed him. And again, we don't even know how many times he had been attending church. But what we do know is that when Christ enters the church, this is a teaching for you and for me. But what we do know is that when Jesus Christ entered into the church, it is impossible for an evil spirit to continue camouflage among the congregation. Do you see it? It's impossible because once Christ starts speaking, it's impossible for any evil spirit to support the Word of God. This is good news, dear brothers and sisters, because when we come to church, we are here to receive and to hear the Word of God. And when Christ enters the church every single Sunday, no spirit of darkness can withstand His presence. And praise the Lord for that. Praise the Lord because He is good. And again, here we learn something very important for today. 
the importance of preaching and the reading the word. If you come to a church, if you visit a church, listen, take a look. How many times do they use the Bible? How many times the Bible readings they use? Because nowadays, it's more show and less word of God. Let's recognize this. This is very important because nowadays, we desperately need more and more the word of God. We need the word of God. Because the word of God is the only one who can liberate you and your members of your family and your friends. The importance of hearing the word of God is very important because Christ can liberate in the same way that he liberated these men with the power of his word. Dear brothers and sisters, This world, I don't know if you agree with me, but this world is full of evil spirits. And I'm not saying the Bible talks about that. Each one of us is exposed to attacks from the forces of darkness every day. It's why we need God every day. But let me share some good news to you. Even though we read the, this Bible reading and we see how he has this encounter with this evil spirit, the good news for you and for me is that if you partake the Holy Communion in every opportunity that you have, you can live confidently and you can rest in Christ the Crucified because he lives in you. This is a good news. If your children are baptized, you can live peacefully. You can live confidently and rest in Christ the crucified. If your children come to church and step forward to receive the blessing, you can live peacefully, knowing that your children belong to him and are under the care of Christ the crucified. If the Holy Spirit is living in you and in the lives of your children, no evil spirit can attack your life. And you rest in that. You, you rest in that because it's impossible for an evil spirit to come and be in your life if he, the Holy Spirit is living in you. Jesus Christ, dear brothers and sisters, in the same way that we hear the reading, Jesus Christ has come to liberate you. He came to this world to save you. His suffering, death, and resurrection were for you. He gave his life for you on the cross. So today, you can entrust all your needs. You can entrust all your problems, and you can entrust all your worries to him. Dear brothers and sisters, he can and wants to free you by forgiving your sins. He can and wants to help you in your distress. He wants to help you and your sufferings. He wants to help your husband and, your, and his sufferings. He wants and can respond to your request for any type of help today, here, among us, because his real presence is with us here. Amen.